Danny again, the Athlete's Potential. This one is for the parents. So I have two kids. I have a son, uh, he's a little over two, and I have a daughter who's about four months. So I know from personal experience that when you have kids, they wreck your back, absolutely. Fighting with a two-year-old, trying to get him out of the bathtub, is much harder than pulling your max deadlift, guaranteed. It's so awkward and hard. Uh, we see people hurt their back oftentimes with their kids. Even things like getting them in and out of a car seat um, are a challenge. You know, it, it's safety first, obviously, but they, I don't think they think ergonomically about parents uh, and their, and their, uh, their back whenever you're, you're putting your kid in your car seat or in their car seat and bringing them back out or getting them in and out of the tub. There's a lot of problems that come with that, right? So here's my advice for, for parents and maintaining a healthy back because reality is you got to pick them up, right? Uh, and often. So <clears throat> this is a pretty rough drawing of the human body, all right? Uh, this would be where your head is, this is your neck, this is your upper back, and this is your lower back right here. So what, what we always try to get across to people um, and clients that we work with is that we, we want to limit um, local movement at the, the spine as much as possible when we're, when we're lifting something, okay? Meaning we want the majority of our movement to come from predominantly the hip and in the shoulder as well as we kind of move our arms forward and things, but really, really in the hip. So when you're picking your kids up, try to focus on keeping your back as neutral as possible. And this is how you set it, okay? So for us to set our lower back, we're gonna squeeze our butt first. And the reason we're gonna do that is because we wanna put our pelvis in a neutral position, okay? So when we squeeze our butt, our pelvis, which is kind of that bowl that the lower back connects to, just orientates itself into a neutral position, right? Now. From there, we take a big breath in with our belly, blow it out, and we tighten down and we try to shrink wrap our spine. It's kind of the way we say it. So we want the muscles on the front and the back of the spine to just come together as, as tightly as possible to shrink wrap our spine. Now from there, we're gonna maintain tension in our stomach and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lift, all right? <clears throat> so the, the contraction of the glutes or squeezing your butt is what sets the pelvis and the contraction of the stomach is what keeps it in a neutral position. That's really important, okay? So I want you to think about this. Try this for a day, for a week, whatever. Every time you pick your kid up, you're getting them out of the bath, you're getting them out of the car, whatever it is, squeeze your butt, big breath in, tighten down your stomach, set yourself and go ahead and pick them up. And let's see if we can't clear up some of that, the lower back problems that end up happening when you have kids.